let's take a look at this first problem. It says, in a game, you win $1 if a coin lands on heads and $3 if a coin lands on tails. If the coin is fair, what is the expected payout for per flip? So this is an expected value problem. And how do you calculate the expected value? What you do is you take each value and you multiply it by its probability. And then when you're done with that, you add up all the results you get. Let's talk about what that means in the context of this problem. So first off, there are a couple different values. We know that we get $1 if the coin lands on heads. And we also know that we get $3 if the coin lands on tails. And then now we need to find the probability of these values. Well, it said this is a fair coin, right? And when you flip a coin, there's a 50-50 chance that it lands on either heads or tails. So the probability that you can sign is 50%, or I'll just write that as 0.5. Because whenever you're doing expected value problems, your probabilities need to be either decimals or fractions. You can use percentages here. You have to convert them. So I'm going to write 0.5 for both of these values because there's a 0.5 chance you get $1 and there's a 0.5 chance you get $3. Then now what do you do? You multiply each of the probabilities by its corresponding value and then you add them all up. So let me do that. That'd be 0 0.5 times a dollar. And then we need to do, we need to add that to 0 0.5 times $3. And now we can just compute this. 0 0.5 times a dollar is just 0.5 dollars. Let me just write that here. And then 0 0.5 times 3 is just 1.5 or 1.5 dollars. And 1.5 plus 0.5 is just 2. And this is in dollars. So therefore, the expected payout per coin flip is 2 dollars. I want you to notice something. Notice how on each flip, you can't get $2. You only get $1 or $3, but somehow the expected value is $2. What does that mean? Well, basically, what an expected value means is that whenever you do something many, many times, on average, that's the value that you would get. So if I were to do this coin flip a thousand times or maybe a million times, on average, I receive $2 per coin flip, even though that isn't a possible amount. So this is a key concept. The expected value may not be a possible value.